Hello whiskey fans, today I'm doing something a little bit different. This isn't a whiskey review, it's a whiskey product review. And today I'm going to be reviewing whiskey stones. For anyone that hasn't seen them, they are an alternative to ice for keeping your drinks cool. And they take the form of little cubes of essentially soapstone. And the idea is that you put them in the freezer for a few hours, I think they recommend around four hours. And then you put them in your drink, and it sounds great. It um, does the same job as ice. But because it's stone, it doesn't dilute your whiskey. So you end up with the same original ABV, all of the flavour, but you get to keep your drink nice and cold. So, sounds great, but do they work? And at what cost? So to start us off and give us some sort of baseline to compare to, I've got two tumblers and I've filled them equal measures with water and I've stuck a little thermometer in here, my highly scientific Scotch whiskey experiment method here of a thermometer attached to a Laphroaig whiskey tube with blue tack. It doesn't get any more accurate than that. I'm going to assume that the water in these glasses is exactly the same temperature because it was taken from the tap at the same tap at the same time and that is reading 20 degrees C. So I've got some ice here, so to compare to the traditional method of using ice to chill your drinks, I'm just going to separate these ice cubes and carefully try to drop those in there. It seems like a sensible amount of ice. And with some internet time-lapse magic, I'm going to come back and see what effect this has had on the 20 degree water. Just given that exactly five minutes and it's gone down to five degrees so I'm going to give it a little bit longer and see if we can get any colder than that. I've given that ten minutes now and it's still sitting just below five degrees so I think it's fairly safe to say that's about as cold as it's going to get. So sitting at around about fridge temperature so not too bad. Let's see how the whiskey stones perform. So I've got my bag of whiskey stones here. These were actually a free gift from Laphroaig when I bought the bottle of ten year old cask strength. And immediately when I saw that you've got these as a free gift, the first thing I did was try to see if you could swap it for anything else, which probably tells you something about how this review is going to go. But let's open the bag. I haven't washed these, but this is only water in there. Not even our bag is that clear. So I'm not going to be drinking this. I don't particularly care if they're not the cleanest. One thing I don't like about these whiskey stones is because they don't float and because they're stone it always feels like if you drop them you're going to smash the glass, which you probably are. So after five minutes, the same as the, the glass with the ice, the glass with the whiskey stones has gone down to 15 degrees. So that's nowhere near as cold as the ice got. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer, give it a fair chance and see what it's like after 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes now, and the glass with the whiskey stones has actually gone back up to around 17 and a half degrees. So that's not a great result, really. So what went wrong? Well, there's a couple of things. The first one is that stone as a material has a lower thermal capacity than ice. It's not a coincidence that ice water has been used to chill drinks for a long time. It's very good at its job, and it just happens that the freezing point of water is at a very convenient position for chilling drinks. So when you raise the temperature of something, whether it's a stone or ice, the amount of energy that you need, or the amount of energy, thermal energy that's taken out of the substance to raise the temperature of what you're using to cool, is different if you are going through a state change with that material. So when the ice melts, it's actually lowering the temperature by more, than if you were going from, say, 30 degrees down to 10 degrees. Now, I'm just going to take our highly scientific blue tech whiskey thermometer here that has gone back up to nearly 19 degrees now. So the whiskey stones, after a little more than 10 minutes, they've done their job, they've done a poor job, and they're now heating back up near room temperature. I'm going to take this and put it back 
in the glass with the ice and immediately I can see that the reading on the thermometer has plummeted, it's going down really quickly so you can give that a little while so what else can you do? If you want your drinks cold and you need something that's more effective than whiskey stones because they're not effective but you don't want to dilute your whiskey with ice well if you've got chunky glassware like this with a large bottom on it then you could put something like this in the freezer and the glass does the job of the ice. The thermal mass of the glass is going to reduce the, whisk the temperature of whatever you put in there and obviously the glass isn't going to melt and dilute your whiskey. Or, better than that, get the entire bottle please not a bottle of Lafroy cask strength because that's just going to upset me but just get your bottle of whiskey and put the whole thing in the freezer. It's not going to freeze the alcohol content is going to make sure that this doesn't get anywhere near freezing. It might go a little thick and syrupy and look a bit strange running around the glass. But that's a perfectly good way of keeping your drinks cold without diluting them. So the glass with the ice, this has been in here for 20 minutes now. You can probably see from there that the glass with the whiskey stones is basically room temperature. The glass with the ice is not any cold. It's covered in condensation. So that thermometer has gone down to around 5 degrees. So the ice not only cools things quicker than the whiskey stones, but it cools it for much longer as well. So whiskey stones, in my first whiskey product review, am I going to recommend that you buy these? No, I'm not, because they don't work. <laughs> they just don't work. Sorry, Lefroig.